students in this chapter triangles we have already discussed about the first four objectives of this chapter and in the last video we had discussed about the Pythagoras theorem and also we have done some related question to that property so today we will do some more questions by using the Pythagoras theorem but before starting a topic we will recall the Pythagoras theorem so what was Pythagoras theorem in a right angle triangle square of the longest side is equals to the sum of square of other two sides that mean hypotenuse square is equals to perpendicular square plus b square or h square is equals to p square plus b square now what if i will take the opposite of that theorem means if this property will satisfy then only this will be the right angle triangle so yes, this is our new topic of today that we are going to understand. So let's move to the example number one. So read the statement. AB is equals to 4 cm, BC is equals to 3 cm, AC is equals to 5 cm are the sides of triangle ABC. State whether triangle ABC is a right angle triangle or not. So that means we need to find whether the given sides are forming the right angle triangle or not. So let's start the question by writing here in a triangle ABC, not a right angle because here we need to prove it. In a, in a triangle ABC, AB is equal to 4 cm, BC is equal to 3 cm and AC is equal to 5 cm. So now we just have done now the property of Pythagoras theorem and what was that? That square of longest side is equal to sum of square of other two side. Then only the triangle will be possible. So here you will apply the property that this triangle will be right angle triangle if square of longest side is equal to sum of square of other two sides. Right? So here longest side square of longest side which is the longest side you can see here i think four no three no that is five right so longest side is ac so you will write here square of longest side that means square of ac is equals to sum means plus square of other two sides square of other two sides so which are the remaining side that is ab and bc so you will write here ab square plus bc square very easy right now from above you will put the values of these sides AC as 5 square, BAB as 4 square and BC as 3 square, right? Now why I am taking here box? Because here we need to prove that whether the left hand side is equal to right hand side, whether they are forming a right angle triangle or not. So here we will take a box, right? 5 square means 25 is a box, 4 square means 16 plus 3 square means 9 right so now here 25 box 16 plus 9 25 16 plus 9 is also 25 so here right hand side is equals to left hand side or left hand side is equals to right hand side so here therefore triangle abc is a right angled triangle now move to the example number two here read the statement ab is equals to 4 centimeter bc is equals to 6 centimeter and ca is equals to 9 centimeter are the sides of triangle ABC state whether ABC triangle ABC is a right angle triangle or not so again we need to prove that whether the given sides are forming a right angle triangle or not so let's get started right here solution in a triangle ABC what are the given sides so you will write here all these sides now again we will apply the property that triangle will be right angle triangle when it will be a right angle triangle if square of longest side is equals to sum of square of other two side so now again we will see that which is the longest side here so now here you can see the longest side that is 9 so you will write longest side as 9 is equals to sum of square of other two sides so other two sides are these 4 and 6 right so you will write here ca square is equals to ab square plus bc square so you will put the values from above CA as 9 square box AB as 4 square plus BC as 6 square. So 9 square is 81 
box, 4 square means 16 plus 6 square means 36. Now, 9 square means 81, so you will write here 81 again. Box, 16 plus 36, that is 52. Now, you can see left hand side is 81 and right hand side is 52, which are not same. So, here left hand side is not equals to right hand side, therefore, the triangle ABC is not a right angle triangle. So, students, these were very easy examples we just have done now. So, I hope now all of you are able to do the related worksheet that have already been sent to you in your SNAP homework. But before starting the worksheet, please students go through the YouTube links because these links will definitely help you for solving these type of questions. Thank you.